Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you the best and most effective build for the Eleonora Spall Blade. This is my favorite Twin Blade of the game, it can be obtained very early and is very easy to use as well. My favorite part of this weapon is its unique skill, Blood Blade Dance. This ability deals a lot of hits in a very short time window, allowing you to quickly reach the higher stages of the successive attacks buffs while also building up bleed quite fast. I'm going to be using this build to defeat all the main bosses of the DLC without taking a single hit. With this one, we are going to be using 50 on Vigor, 22 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, we are going to use only 12 on Strength just to be able to use the weapon, 70 on Dexterity, 33 on Faith, and 45 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. If you want to proc bleed faster on your targets, you can use the Swarm of Flies, it's a very very useful incantation. If you don't want to use Hall of Shabriri because it makes you take a little bit of more damage, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. Hall of Shabriri is just a little bit better, but if you struggle to dodge some enemy attacks, maybe Flame Grand Me Strength is a better option for you. As you can see I have my Scattertree Blessing on the level 20. If you want to deal the same amount of damage I will be dealing to the hardest bosses of the DLC, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. With this build we are going to be using the Eleonora Spall Blade on plus 10 and then still we have available to cast our main buffs. Remember you can use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Tash of Bar to be able to easily dodge the Radan Slide Explosion attack. Even though the unique skill of the Eleonora Spall Blade deals a lot of stance damage, it is very hard to perform it completely against the DLC bosses, so if you are struggling to deal stance damage you can use the Ochigatan on plus 25 on the occult or on the bleed affinity to help you with that task. And if you have another Eleonora Spall Blade, feel free to incorporate it to this build. In some scenarios, using the power stance jump attack is quite useful. I'm going to be using the Dancer's Armor set because it will increase the damage of Blood Blade Dance by a total of 10% if we wear the entire set. You can replace the helmet of this armor set for the White Mask, allowing you to deal even more damage. However, be mindful that the Dancer set only increases the damage when using the skill. If you want an overall damage buff, your best option will be the Rakshasa's armor set with the White Mask. Mask. But I am a little bit tired of using this exact same armor set in multiple builds, so I will use the Dancer's armor set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis, and the Rodent Windsor Insignia. If you are missing one of these talismans, feel free to use the Fire Scorpion Charm or the Blade of Mercy. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Soaking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. However, a great alternative tier for this build is the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear. You can use it to replace whether the Thorny Crack Tear or the Blood Soaking Crack Tear is up to you. You. This weapon devours stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle turtle necks to boost your stamina regeneration speed. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and immediately after that you are going to use your pickle turtle neck which is completely optional but it helps a lot. Now we are going to use your body buff. I will use Hall of Shabriri but feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. Just be mindful that this one lasts a little bit less. Refill your FP, your HP and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Come on, baby! Finally, bro! Let's go! Stay there, right now. There you go. There you go. Come on, baby. Goodbye. Let's go, baby. Amazing. Let's go. Nice. Very beautiful, guys. Let's go. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this, baby. Oh, goodbye. Amazing, bro. Let's go. Clean. 
Okay, how many does it? Okay, this is good. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Come on. Let's go. Ah, oh, let's go, baby. Let's do this. See if this time it goes well. Okay, this is probably the good one, guys. Hmm. Let's go, boys. We did it. Finally. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Clean. Come on. Oh my god, this is not good. Or maybe this. Come on. Oh, beautiful damage. Let's go. 